Hey everyone, I wanted to do a training tonight on how I make the different little memes that I do for all the stuff that I post on that page. I had several people ask me, and I always refer them, go to canva.com. However, once they get there, they're not quite sure what to do. So I thought tonight, I would just show you how I make a meme. You wanna see? So I'm gonna go directly to, let me share my screen here. And I'm gonna go directly to the site. Okay, this is canva.com. When you get there, this is what it looks like, okay? So it'll say, actually, let's just go, some things that I've been working on. Yep, yeah, this is the main site. So when you get here, what you're going to do is choose create a design, okay? Um, so these are all the different designs you can create. There's popular design type, social media, you're doing a presentation, a poster. What's important to know is when you're clicking on this is um, to look underneath the size because that's what it's going to make. Like this card, 14.8 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters. So I used to just click on whatever looked good, but it's going to be the right size. So for instance, if you're doing something on social media, I use this one a lot, this one. Um, a Facebook post that's a little bit smaller than this one, a Facebook app, or if you're going to do, let's go down here, marketing material, social media and email headers. So if you're making the header for um, a page that you're doing, you would want to use one of these. So just make sure you look at specifically what it's for. So tonight, let's just make a fun meme. Does that sound good? So I'm gonna click on that. And then what it's going to do is just take you to pulling it up, a place where you can design. And I'll show you how I design something. And now it's going to run really slow because I'm showing you, huh? <laughs> okay, so it just gives you a blank screen. And what you have over here are all kinds of things that you can add to it. So let's just go to backgrounds, okay? And on the backgrounds, you can choose, look at this, the different kind of backgrounds that you would like to have. Um, you can just choose plain colors if you want. And then there's down here, I never use these because I'm really cheap, but you can pay for different ones. See all these different cool backgrounds. You can get pictures. It'll tell you the cost on there. That one's worth a dollar. So if you really want something that's cool, I, I never use them. I just use my own free colors. Okay, so let's just pick a background. Does that look like a good background? Now, by the way, you can change this later on if you decide that was really dumb. I don't like that. Um, and then you can go to upload. So now typically there's gonna be nothing in this upload section. I upload things all the time. And I just upload them from what I have on my own computer. So let me show you what I do when I do that. So I will go to Google, okay? And I will just go in, let's say I'm on a picture or image might be better. Image of a, let's do an essential oil bottle. And there you go, all of the images for an essential oil bottle come up. Look at that, all kinds of stuff on here. So I will then search through these and kind of decide which one do I wanna use for my picture. And I'm gonna put in here of a doTERRA essential oil bottle. Okay, now look at all these that came up. So let's just click on one, okay. And what I'm gonna do is save it to my computer. So I right click, push save image as, and it saves it somewhere on my computer. So I have a place called pictures, and it saves all of my pictures to that file. Automatically goes there. So just make sure when you're saving it, you know where you're saving it, those who are brand new to computers and how this works. So I'm saving it, let's just call it doTERRA bottles, okay? Save. All right, so now let's go back to what we're making on social media. There's some things I was making before. Here we go. This is where we were at. So I'm gonna go over here, back to upload image, okay? If I don't have an image there that I want, I'm going to upload one. And let's look for that, doTERRA, did I call it a doTERRA bottle? Now that's my problem, you guys. I always forget what I called it. doTERRA bottle, I believe I call it. And then you just kind of search and, I bet you somebody's laughing going, Diane, you can find an easier way to do it. <laughs> okay, Rotera Bottles right there. See that? Ta-da, so it's gonna download it. Yay, awesome. And then 
I can take that and put it into my picture. Now, let's say that I want to not just keep it like that, I wanna put something around it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back over there. And let's go over here to elements. Elements are really cool. There are photos you can do, grids, frames. I'm looking for frames right now. So what I'm gonna do is find a picture that has an outside frame on it. Anything that has these logos on here right here means you can add a picture to it, okay? So I'll go over here and let's find, hmm, let's do, nope, I don't want that one. Let's do this one. Mm, I don't like that one either. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're seeing how I really make these. Okay, so we are going to maybe make that a little bit, I don't know, a little bit bigger, smaller. You can just play with it all you want. And I'm going to go back to the uploads area and upload that picture in there. It just fills it in. Now, you can see I don't like it. It doesn't fill in very well. So I'm going to get rid of it. And this is how I get rid of it. I just go over here and I push that. Sorry, I have that picture there. Delete image. So I can just take that out if I don't like it, okay? But really what I want to do is actually get a different one of these. So delete element. So I'm going to go back over here. You guys are seeing exactly how I work this. And let's pick one that has more of a, a long shape to it. Um, let's see what I can find. I don't want to take too long. I know you guys have lots of things you're doing. There we go. That might be good. Okay. And go back to uploads and put this picture in it right there. There we go. So we have a cute little picture of the oils there. And let's go to back to the layout or the element, sorry. And I want to make a stripe across the top. So let's go back to shapes. Now shapes is what I use to make a background. Okay, so this one will just, it always comes up gray. You get to choose the color. So I'm going to make something that goes across the top here. And let's change the color of it. So you go there and you get to pick what color you want. I go here a lot and just kind of move this around. You kind of see a color that might fit or look good with what I'm doing. So let's just pick that, okay, just for the sake of time. There we go. And then I'm gonna put a text into there. So there's different headings and things you can use. Um, I'm gonna use this. Let's stick that right up there and just say, hmm. Essential oil something, I don't know. Essential oil class. All right, so let's say we're making an invite. Now, I have that in there, but then I can go over here and I can change the font. So I can change it to this, and it'll show up what it looks like. That's fine. There's something I've been using a lot lately. If those of you who've seen what I make, I use one, but now I can't find Pacifico. I use that quite often, and I will make it a little bit bigger right here. Okay, you guys see how I'm doing that? Okay, and then if I wanted to add additional words underneath, like the time, you can go to subheadings and just put your information here. Date, um, gosh, February 15th, time, let's say seven o'clock. So you can just put all that information in there. Now look down here, this is really cool. You can add in all kinds of stuff and it's already done for you. So let's just say that I don't want to make my own stuff. I kind of want to use what they have. Go into this. And let's just move all this stuff out of the way. Okay. Make this a little bit bigger. I could change the color of that. Let's change it to something cool. Again, I do this all the time. I just take this, move it around so I can kind of see what color would go well with that. And this one might be a good light. That might actually be good just to have a light color there. And then you can go in and change the name of this. Um, let's say essential oil. And then down below. There you go. Class. Okay, you guys get an idea of how this works? Now there's sometimes where I don't want to use what they have. This is what I do. If, if you just want to use that, I will go back over here and I will go add subheading and I will put in my own words right there because what I liked there wasn't big enough and it's doing it in white. So you won't be able to see it. So let's change the color of that as well. Let's just do it a uh, black. That's what fits in good. Could you see that? I just changed it to class and now I'm going to change 
the font. So let's do a fun little font on here. You guys following me? I'm not going too fast, but you're kind of figuring out how I work this. So let's pick, um, I didn't see a really good fancy font, maybe Allure. There we go, and let's make it bigger. And because I made this myself instead of what they had there, I can kind of move it around. Now here's something I want to show you. When I um, put things on top of each other, can you notice that that disappeared? It's because of this. You can arrange things so that they're forward or back. See that? So if I'm putting something on top of something else, you can be back behind or forward. So you can just play with that a little bit too. Okay, is that giving you a little uh, idea of how you can kind of play with this a little bit? Um, you can go, let's go back to uploading things. So there are some things that I've done recently. And all I do is I just go to the internet, look up an image, or I go to Facebook sometimes. Like for, for this right here, I was making an image for them. I just went to Facebook and looked up a picture of some different things I want. These are things that I've downloaded recently that I've used in images. And it just keeps them there for you. Now, let's show you some of my things that I have made. So this is all my design. I'm gonna to go to all your designs. And these are just things that I have made recently. And I can go back to them. And if I want to redo something that I've already done or make a copy of it, um, let's say essential oil class, what was that? Well, that's the one we just made. <laughs> I can bring that up. Okay, we just worked on this, right? Actually, I don't wanna do that one. Let's go to a different one. Sorry, guys. All right, 12 benefits of a cleanse. So let's say I want to redo this one. All I have to do is click on it, or I can make a copy of it so that if I want to keep this one, then all I have to do is just go in and redo it. So I can change anything at any time, okay? So I really don't want to change that one, but just get the idea. Um, let's finish this one up. So I'm gonna actually take this away. I just do the trash right here. Um, let me give you an idea of what this is. If I wanted to copy something, go like that and it just copies the entire thing now i'm going to delete it because i really don't want it and i want to show you how to do an edge of something so let's just delete that whole thing and let's put this back up here and let me show you how i do an edge on something let's delete the class i'm going to make this bigger and let's make it a gray color, darker gray. There we go with these pictures here. It's not done, but I still want to show you what I do. Okay, so let's go over here to lines. There's all kinds of lines you can use. Now, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, this program does not let you do just regular plain lines. They all have these little fun lines on them. Okay, there you go. See that line? Can't see it very well. I'm going to change the color of it. Let's just make it a dark one so you can see it. Okay, so this is what I do when I make lines on the edges. You just pull it out. Let's see if I can get it to pull out. All the way to the edge until you can't see that. Ta-da! Put it where you want it. And then click on Copy. Okay, and it makes another one for you. Then I will put it at the top. Let's be arranged. So you notice I'm just, I just keep playing with the stuff that I do. Um, never. Perfect, I'm just constantly moving stuff around. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this again. And this time I'm going to turn it. See how you can turn it? And I will do one here on the edge. And then copy that again. And move it over here. I didn't copy, did it? Or maybe it's somewhere that you can. Oh, there it is, okay. All right, see how that works? So that's how you do lines. Um, let's see some other stuff that we have and there's illustrations that they're already made for you that are free You can add in to see all these things. So if I'm doing something really quick. I can just add in a fun little picture on here And you, all you do is just take them and you move them over. That's all you do. We'll move them back The majority of the things on here are free, which is really awesome um, You can do charts all kinds of different charts. So if you're making something you want to show people how a chart works, anyways, you can just play with all of these. They always come up with something that's um, for whatever the theme is for that month or year, whatever. So right now they have a bunch of Valentine things that I could use if I wanted to. 
Okay, um, I think I've showed you everything. So layout, okay, we didn't show you layout. Layout gives you an idea. If you wanna use something that's already made, I rarely ever use this because I want my own look to be something, but you can use this if you want to, and I'll show you how that works. So let's take this. I'm just gonna move it over here. Replace page content. Don't replace, okay. It's, it's putting it behind it, sorry. Let's, let's just replace it. All right, so here we go. So well, all I need to do is if I wanna use this, I can just click on here and change it up and say um, essential oil. All right, let me click on it. No, it's not gonna let me. Okay, I think I have too many things open, guys, sorry. So typically, you can click on it, you can change all this information. So you can use all of these that are new, probably because I'm having it done over on, on top of another one, maybe that's why. So let's just put that in the trash. Okay, let's just pick something else over here and bring it on over. Replace. And there you go. Let's see if it'll let me. There we go. So I can just change this up to whatever I want it to be. Essential oil class. All right. And then add in whatever you want. And this will actually let you change the font size. So if I don't like that font, I can come over here. Click on something else that might work. Change the font to maybe 48. And then you can just play with this a little bit. It's actually kind of cool because you can just move it all around. So if you're not, feel like you're not very creative, then you can just do that. Okay, so when you're all done, this is what you're going to do. You come over here. You need to make sure it's named correctly. Okay, so go up here, design the title, essential oil class, let's call it that, and push done. And then you have to download it, okay? It's gonna download, you choose what you wanna download it to. as a PNG or a JPEG, a PDF, or if you're gonna print it, that would be a PDF. So we're just gonna do PNG, download it, and it's going to download it in your download section of your files, okay? So you need to know where that is. It'll show you down here if you're not quite sure. That's what it does on my computer. I'm hoping it does it on the same. But you can go there if you want to, open it up, and see it. Let's see if it's gonna let us see it. Of course, when you're doing this for training, it's not gonna let you see it, is it? Okay, so here's what I do. When, let's see if I have something open. I'm gonna show you where I, there we go. So you can kind of see it. And if you feel like, oh, I still need to edit it, I can't do it twice. But I still need to edit, you still have time to edit it here a little bit. I mean, it's gonna be an official picture, but here's what I do. So now it's saved to your computer. And let's just open something where I can show you how I paste it somewhere. Um, let's go to a Facebook page where nobody will see it. All right, let's try this. This is a page that just has myself and my husband on it. So let's go here, add a photo. And this is what I do when you add a photo, upload. I'll just show you where it is on my computer. So every time I post a picture that I just made in Canva, it goes to my download section. So I go to downloads and I always post it right at the bottom. There we go, that's the one we just made and I post it. So I can get on Canva and I can make a picture within five to 10 minutes and post it really quickly. So there you go. And then I would post and it shows up. See how quickly we made that? Now that's not at all what we were making. That was just a sample, but I'm now going to delete it so that it's not there anymore because I will forget about it. Okay, does that help you all kind of know how to work this? Let's put the stop share. There. Hopefully that gave you a little idea of how to work Canva, what to do with it, how to post them, what to do with pictures on there. If you have questions, um, post them below. But there you go, guys. Have fun working with Canva. All right. See you. Bye.